25 minutes before 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Thursday morning. Every morning before I go to work, I say goodbye to my puppy dog. My puppy dog turns 14 December 1st. <laughs> my puppy dog is not a puppy. She's an old dog. But I always, say, I always say, I'll say, see you later, puppy dog. And then she just looks at me like, I know. I know the routine. I'm going, I'll, I'm going back to sleep for me. But she loves to play. She's got, I, when, when she started getting a gray face, it was like, oh, man, she's getting old. I hate this. You know, and now she's got a completely gray face. And, uh, and she is a she. But I agree with our author that I think all old dogs kind of look like old men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cohen uh, has written a very fun book to look through. If I told you I read the book, I'd be lying to you. I looked at every page of the book, though, mm -hmm. and I guess I, I guess I read what was on the right side of each each of those two pages. So you read the book. I did, but the, but yes. the left side was all photographs of dogs, and it was just just <laughs> so fun to look through, and and especially when you think of the title of the book and you're looking at these dogs' faces, because then you you kind of see something you might not have seen if you were just looking at a picture of a dog. Uh, Tom is a multiple Emmy award winning producer. Uh, and he's come up with a fun idea for a book. It's he. It says here he lives with one old man-faced dog and a tuxedo-wearing cat. The book is called Dogs with Old Man Faces. I'm guessing this will be a gift for many, many people this coming holiday season. Yeah, I can see it. Tom Cohen. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. Where are you? This is a fun idea. Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm in the Washington, D.C. area. What's your dog's name? Uh, my dog's name is Piper, hmm. oh. and she is a, she's an, um, seven years old. She's about 11 pounds. She's a tiny Shih Tzu, and she, um, I guess it's more of an old lady face than an old man face, but she, um, <laughs> she, she sort of inspired me um, along with a lot of other dogs that I'd seen around. I used to live in Manhattan, and I would just see so many people out with their small dogs and their great little old man faces, and I started <laughs> taking photos and had an idea for the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, some of these dogs. I mean, you could argue that they look like old women or or women. Period. Felix is a dog. I don't know if you remember the dogs by names, but the dog named Felix was very feminine looking to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's sort of the so the joke with Felix is that he uh, he had a lot of work done to, to keep him full. <laughs> uh, so who were the uh, dogs? Where, you know, that, where did the dogs come from? Where did you find the dogs? So, uh, I mean, some of the dogs are actually friends that had dogs that I just thought would work perfectly for the book. So I reached out to them and they provided the photos. Um, most of them are actually photos taken uh, around the streets of the city or in dog runs or dog parks. Or even if I was just hanging out at Starbucks having a coffee and I'd see a, a great dog, I said, I have to feature that dog in my book. So I would just whip out my camera and take a photo on the spot. Oh, wow. So it was really just sort of a spontaneous um, you know, wherever I, I could find dogs that sort of had that soulful old man kind of um, personality in their face and channeling that kind of crotchety old guy look, I would take a photo. <laughs> I uh, uh, like the one where you uh, write, Chet is still upset they canceled Matlock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> sort of, uh, you know, it was funny because I took all the photos first and then I had about you know, I had probably a hundred photos and then I had to go through and figure out what they all, all their expressions were saying to me. So the fun part was writing the, the, the captions and, um, it was, it was actually sort of amazing how, how quickly they came to me just based on, on sort of what I captured in their facial expressions. Tom, I want to tell you that I like to, I, I, I try, I try to challenge myself to say something to our guests that no other radio host has said to them. And I hope this is an example of that. I think I think Jinx looks like Richard Branson, the guy from Virgin. What, what's that called, Virgin Atlantic? Yes. What's oh it? yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you remember which one Jinx is? I do. Yeah, he has um, kind of a a more refined looking face. <laughs> Doesn't he look like other. Richard Branson? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Do you see that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> sure yes. Yeah. I, I, I will. I will admit, no, nobody has said that. <laughs> well, there I go. Now I get another point, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and there's one in here that um, looks like, uh, uh, what, what is that? Well, there's one in here that, um, there's another celebrity reference in my book. I'm trying to remember what it is at the moment. Oh. A lot, of these a lot of these dogs look like uh, old famous people. Um, yeah. Well, Homer, uh, Homer, Homer looks like Rosie O'Donnell. 
Yeah. <laughs> is she Homer? Well, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do have one in there that says Pedro likes Old Spice and Sinatra. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it's funny because our dog has a face that she makes that sometimes reminds me of Peter Falk. And oh, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we always call it her Peter Falk face when she's looking up at us and she has that kind of curled lip thing going on. My, my sister used to tell me that I looked like my dog or my dog looked like me. And people, people will say that about their dog. I, I wonder if that's true. I, I think sometimes... I hope, people, I, I, hope I don't look like my, my 11-pound <laughs> shoot too, but you never know. <laughs> when you uh, did your uh, producing for the uh, uh, television, did you feature dogs in a lot of your uh, shows? Uh, no, I didn't actually, and that's part of sort of what I'm 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 hoping to accomplish in the future. I, I it, you know, if you if you flip around, you just there's just not a lot of shows that feature dogs on, and so um, it's for some reason it's a hard marriage. The sort of the pet the pet genre and TV don't always go hand in hand. Um, but I'd love to try to figure out a way to get more dog related shows on on the air. Um, I mean, Animal Planet used to do a lot more than they do now, so. Hopefully they'll come back around to, to featuring you know more more dogs and cats. Mm-hmm. Talk oh, about yeah, but it's, to- it's Scamp in my book. Scamp bears a strong resemblance to Grandpa Munster. That's the one I was thinking. Oh about. yes, yes, that's oh, oh, it. Oh, where, where's Scamp? <laughs> There's no page numbers on here. I just gotta find him. Scant, Scant, Scamp. Okay, Scamp. Oh yes, there he does. He I found him. <laughs> he does. Oh, that's too funny. Oh my god. Oh, it even says so. Bass is strong as that one to Grandpa. Okay, okay. See, I told you I didn't read it. I just, I just looked at the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> this one plays golf with a kilt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a fun, fun book. You have, I don't know if this was the intent, but I think you're going to sell a lot of books. Uh, well, you know, obviously that's, uh, I, to be totally honest with you, the intent was just to make this book happen because I, I love dogs. I yeah. wanted to... Um, I just thought it was a fun idea and people would get a kick out of it. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I would love to sell a lot of books. I think, you know, not to get too into the weeds about the publishing industry, but it's very competitive. So it's hard to get, yeah, yeah. you know, the word out. And, and I do think it's a great book for the holidays. So I'm, I'm encouraging people. Oh, just because, absolutely. You know, it's, it's such a fun, lighthearted, like, let's take our mind off of all oh. that problems in the world you know well I, I don't think i'm any different than anybody else when it comes to looking for gifts and if you go to the bookstore looking for a gift and you pick this up mm-hmm. chances are you'll put it in that basket and, and have somebody in mind for it so oh uh, yeah i mean it's it's also a great it's perfect size it's a small book so it's good for stockings if you it is stock your stockings yeah yeah uh let me give away the copy that you sent us not that i want to but i want our listeners to have it so mm-hmm. if i have somebody out there that wants the book called dogs with old man faces Portraits of Crotchety Canines by Tom Cohen. You can have the one that was sent to us. And I'm going to ask Tom to give us a website and other details so we can buy the book. But let me give this one away first. Good morning. You forgot the book. Who's this? Uh, this is Charles with oh. uh, Service Animal Summit. Say that again? Charles. Charles. Okay, Charles. You got the book. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Uh, what you're doing with this book is that you're allowing people to see what it's like to grow old together with uh, their dogs because there are people out there now that they'll get puppies for their children or their household, and then in like two years, they just um, put them out on the street or give them to a shelter or something. They don't keep them, but this is for all, definitely for all the dog lovers in the world. Oh, yeah, and I'm actually, every time I speak to anyone about this book, I'm, I'm always very proactive to encourage people to um, take a look at senior dogs. If they're thinking of adopting a dog from a rescue group or a shelter, uh, there are a lot of older dogs that, for whatever reason, they're, either their owners passed away or they're just no longer wanted, and they're in these shelters, and they're great, loving yeah. canyons. And um, so I'm always, you know, encouraging people, don't always go for the puppy because there are so many old, great, amazing, loving dogs that need homes. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Well, my 14-year-old is still my puppy. So yes, she still is. Still call her my puppy. Yeah. Uh, Tom, thank you. That, that was a fun interview. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing. And I think you're going to brighten a lot of faces. I'm sure a lot of people Thanks. will just really get a smile out of this. Tom Cohen, get the book Dogs with Old Man Faces. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today, nice and warm, high 81 to 85. Partly cloudy tonight will drop to the mid and upper 50s in a few inland spots, 64 along the coast. Tomorrow, partly sunny, breezy, less humid, the high between 70 in the north and 77 in the south. 
for Saturday. Intervals of clouds and sun. There may be a late day shower near the coast. The high 73 to 79. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. I'm Yvette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. Are you a mom looking for inspiration? Are you creative? Mamazine.com is a lifestyle blog designed for the local mom to be inspired by the beauty of motherhood while staying current on local events and issues. Visit Mamazine.com today to find events around town, recipes, imaginative play ideas, and more. Mamazine.com. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Dad's service to our country is something we're all proud of. He made a difference and set a great example. Now it's our turn to honor the sacrifices he made for our family and his country. As Veterans Funeral Specialist, Hires Baxley Funeral Services helped us celebrate Dad's life, and they can help you too. Hires Baxley is here for you during your time of need or when planning for the future. For more information, call 352-484-0891 or visit hires-baxley.com forward slash choice. Cookies, 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 cookies. We when you cookies. want something special and fun for any occasion, get cookies. That's right. The Great American Cookie Company in the Paddock Mall Ocala will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. You might notice that I said fun and delicious more than once. That's because I can't say it enough. The next time you're at the mall, be sure and stop by or call 352-237-2557 to place your order. Cookies, cookies, Yum. cookies, cookies. We go cookie eating cookies. The Great American Cookie Company. This is the Salvation Army, and I'm Major George Patterson to let you know that the Salvation Army is available 24 hours a day to provide help to anyone. We also have a family store at 120 Northwest 10th Street in Ocala. On Tuesday to Saturday from 9 to 4, you can do your shopping, or if you want to donate, you can call 352-732-4469, and we'll even pick up. 352-732-4469. All funds generated by our store go into the programs here in Marion County to help the needy. Check this out. New shows? Check. Check, check, check. Some new talent? Check. The same great sports talk? I'm seeing it right now. Wrong. Wrong again? Wrong. Wrong. It's better. There are so many great things going on in sports. We got it. We got it. From our mics. Test, test. To your ears. The latest update we got is... Awesome. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Want to have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep, at 352-528-0020. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today, nice and warm, high 81 to 85. Partly cloudy tonight will drop to the mid and upper 50s in a few inland spots, 64 along the coast. Tomorrow, partly sunny, breezy, less humid, the high between 70 in the north and 77 in the south. For Saturday, intervals of clouds and sun, there may be a late day shower near the coast, the high 73 to 79. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. 
Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Hospice of Marion County has an urgent need for volunteers to share a conversation with someone, run errands, hold someone's hand. All you need is a willingness to help others. Our volunteers believe the blessings they receive far exceed the services they offer. Will you consider serving, caring, and making a difference? Call today, 873-7441. Hospice of Marion County, making more moments of life possible. Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Olstein with A Better You Healthcare Acupuncture and Eastern Medicine. As primary care physicians, we use acupuncture to treat back pain, arthritis, migraines, allergies, high blood pressure, thyroid disorders, hormone imbalances, stress, and more using all natural medical therapies. We treat the source of your problems, not just your symptoms. For more information, go to abetteryouhealthcare.com or call today to set up your appointment, 352-615-5566. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 21.